Okay, well, uh, I see that a lot of people are saying that there are not enough video reviews of the Koenig monster online, so I figure I'll do a quick one. Um, I don't normally review figures, so I'm just going to keep it simple and just do the transformations. Um, it's a pretty big ship. Uh, I really enjoyed it. And so far I've only transformed it once to the monster. So um, I'm going to try to attempt to do this without any instructions. So uh, here we go. And the joints, they click everywhere. It's very uh, satisfying to hear. Um, this part right here is all metal, so it's very nice. And I'm sorry if the lighting is not so good on these. Um, like I said, I'm not a professional reviewer like Pill or any of the normal usual reviewers that you frequent or I frequent online, so... Um, just want to do a quick one so people can see how awesome this figure really is. That's uh, one leg down. And now flip to the other side. This entire structure in here is die cast um, and it's ratcheted joint. So, again, very satisfying to hear the clicks. And it's double jointed too. So, um, there's one joint up here and one joint down here. So, A lot of sliding panels. Um, I'm just going to put this down and make sure it stands correctly.
stands very solid, won't topple over easily. At least I don't think so. Okay, now I'm gonna flip out the arms. I'm gonna put these panels down. These panels open and close. really helps if you have nails to flip out certain parts um, because they are in there so Um, I'm just gonna say I'm gonna give a lot of prop to the normal reviewers because they're a lot more professional at this I am than I am. Uh, they have you know great lighting, lighting, and um, uh, you know they uh, it's it's a little, lot harder than than it looks. So, um, but there it is. Oh, forgot to bring down the nose. Here we go. And there's the Koenig Monster. Um, I don't think I will be doing a Batroid uh, version just because I really don't like the Batroid uh, mode. So um, uh, I may do one later on if you guys really want to see it. But I, I really just uh, like this mode and I don't think I'll change it from here. Um, again, a lot of articulation in the arms, uh, a lot of articulations in the leg, depending on how you move the the, the double joints, and uh, there's even leg swivel, so you can actually swivel out the leg for a wider stance if you choose to, um, and the toe also moves, so you can use even use the toe for balancing when you have a very wide a stance and uh, it also feature a plate the sort uh, shock absorbing plate in the back that was um, shown uh, with a different monster uh, in the regular Macross uh, it comes out like so and you have to position the leg a certain way so that it, it positions with the plate underneath like so um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, very solid figure. I love it. Uh, I 
think it was money well spent and it's one of the most attention uh, hogging piece in my co collection right now and hopefully you guys will like it and, and would, if you haven't bought it uh, you should go and buy it it's uh, just really really cool uh, solid piece of toy so okay well hopefully that's good enough I'll see you guys later